I said before, uh, and 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 I've, I've said to you uh, all on many videos, I am somebody that certainly uh, uh, believes in the Lord Jesus and doing what uh, uh, the Bible tells us, and that's to uh, redeem the time because the days are are, are certainly evil. There is no, uh, uh, I, I think, time that we shouldn't uh, be ready to uh, proclaim the gospel. Uh, as the Apostle Paul uh, uh, wrote to the young pastor Timothy, be instant in season and out of season, uh, ready to tell uh, the people. And that 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 time uh, has come for me right now, and I just uh, want to share with you. And I'm gonna keep on recording until the headset drops or the battery in this uh, uh, the laptop uh, goes out or, or 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 whatever it is that that may happen. I'm gonna get on the interstate here, but I said that to say this is that from time to time I I love to go to. Uh, 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 Barnes and Nobles, just to uh, uh, see what um, you know, what uh, false prophets have written, how they're uh, ripping people off in in Afro times. We uh, in aforementioned times, we have uh, have certainly uh, uh, called out uh, uh, T.D. Jakes and uh, Creflo Dollar, uh, uh, Joel Osteen, and all those clowns that 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 just have just trampled underfoot. Uh, Christ and it is they are not I, I do want to say not in defense of what they've done certainly but I mean they are not the only ones that are, are just making uh, what the Bible calls making merchandise of you and and uh, my thing is I don't believe I do not under any circumstance believe it is a a, a, a certainly a biblical thing to do to write a uh, write a book with the expectation of getting paid to do so, uh, there was a, a, a book given away actually for free uh, on uh, Bible Gateway, and and certainly uh, they got that Bible Gateway is a great research site, but you got to be careful because their headliner, uh, their headliner, and uh, their headline. Uh, edition of the Bible is the the New International Version, which is is the haunt of foul spirits. But there was there's a guy that uh, is a pastor in India, and they and they this somebody came to me and said, uh, you know, you really need to check this book out. And and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, I don't uh, be reading, I don't read books like that because I've always said, uh, what are they going to tell me? that the Lord God himself should he choose to uh, not be able to reveal to me in the Holy Bible uh, through his spirit on this particular occasion however I was uh, I wanted to get a uh, somebody who's outside of America with the untainted view of, of this corporate uh, Protestant Christianity uh, that is in America I wanted to get their view just to see what it is that they think about what's going on over here and this particular book revolution and world missions I bring that up because this guy uh, uh, doesn't have the money of these uh, uh, so-called American evangelists this guy uh, uh, just doesn't have the resources yet he gives his book away for free and what he does, uh, what he does is, and he doesn't even ask for uh, uh, directly saying, uh, you know, if this book has been a blessing to you, please donate. No, he has opportunities to donate, but this guy's heart is turned toward the ministry. And I say that because uh, I said all that to say this is that writing a, a, a book, a, a so called Christian book, and I do want to. Uh, uh, differentiate between being a Christian and being a believer. <laughs> uh, the, you know, those those two things are certainly uh, different animals. But this guy is giving away his book. He's in a, 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 a poor church in India and giving away his book. You can donate if you want to. He never directly asked for it. And then you have this American version 
of, of book selling that says you ain't going to get God's word without uh, paying a price to get it. Jesus specifically uh, uh, said something that was very, very powerful when he sent his disciples out. He said, freely, he, freely you've been given, so freely you give. Now, when we couple that, uh, when we uh, play that forward with uh, the Apostle Paul, we do know that that Paul did take up collections or or they the, the church did collect the early church collected money for the Apostle Paul but the deal is uh, we always have to ask ourselves what condition Paul was in when he took up those offerings I mean Paul was a tip maker when Paul went on his missionary journeys uh, you know Paul worked uh, when and where he could but today it's that expectation of just like with those books and these 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 uh, worthless shepherds man they, they are going in negotiating salary and and doing all of these things that 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 saying I'm not gonna preach unless you uh-huh 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 and I mean, this is just ridiculous that they're, they're making merchandise of God's people. Uh, we we see in uh, we see in the Gospels Jesus chased the money changers out of the temple, and and said, "My Father's house is going to be a house of prayer, and you've made it into a den of thieves." Why? Because they were in there selling sacrifices for the for the uh, uh, for the temple, which is to say, if you can't buy some dove, some pigeon. Or whatever it is that they were sacrificing, you couldn't sacrifice to God. You couldn't know God unless you bought uh, and sold in the temple. And this is just ridiculous. At that time, just like with this, it shuts people out of getting a word of the Most High God. And you know what is interesting is, uh, to if I can uh, further that, is that you go into these Barnes and Nobles, man. I, I want there's there's racks. Uh, of books called Christian fiction. Uh, listen to that. Listen to that term. Christian fiction. Those two words uh, should never ever be mentioned in the same sentence Christian and fiction. The Bible tells us that no truth is of a lie. Fiction is fictitious or it is a lie. It is something somebody made up. And, and these people are writing stories. They're telling lies in the name of uh, in the name of, of, of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Uh, some of these uh, some of these false pretender, uh, uh, so-called uh, Christian authors, will even you say, "Well, Jesus, Jesus told story. He said told parables and all this other stuff like that." You have got to understand G, uh, parables are comparative analysis that's what a parable means comparative analysis just like uh, many of you don't know uh, what, what the, even the word Protestant is Protestant was the Protestant Reformation uh, which was undertook by the uh, ex-Catholic Martin Luther who was also a religious hypocrite because he wrote so many vile things about the Jewish people not understanding a his uh, the Messiah who he claimed was Jewish and that he was grafted into the natural branch of Israel making him a spiritual Jew himself but that hypocrite yeah, 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 I, I digress so uh, we have to understand that Jesus, that was a comparative analysis of real events, farmers and seeds and all of those things. Jesus, Jesus you know, these people naming stories and, and, and building this whole plot around uh, some fictitious fake characters in order to communicate some truth. Christian fiction is a lie. And again, there's a difference between a parable and a fictitious story. One is meant to produce change and the other, these books on these shelves are just meant to entertain people. It's a lie. Even a Left Behind series. You know, worldwide, uh, Timothy LaHaye and his backslidden, reprobate-minded partner who wrote that foolishness, uh, they're, all they're doing is entertaining people. They built a whole collection, six, seven, eight books around the book of Revelations and they cherry pick scriptures we talked before about how we how we have to take scripture and verify it with scripture and other texts left behind is a lie it is a lie and and to tell you uh, how uh, uh, fictitious this story is 
these Tim, uh, uh, Dr. Tim LaHaye, or whatever he calls himself, he's a good Christian man. He who has an ear, let him hear what I mean by that. But he even incorporated, he even incorporated his worldly racist views into Left Behind. I mean, when you, uh, when you look, you know, I, again, I examine things just to see false doctrine. I'm doing, I'm doing that less and less because as I grow in the Lord, man, I can't even watch that vomit. But we have to look at the mind of this reprobate who's Tim, who's Tim LaHaye, who made this Left Behind series making merchandise of stupid and ignorant sheep. That Left Behind was set after what's called the rapture, the, the, the pre-tribulation rapture. We're going to deal with that some other time. But uh, I, I said that to say this is that, I mean, look at the roles uh, even in his movies or, or whatever it is that he's cast uh, believers in who don't share the same skin color as he do. First of all, uh, we have a, 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 a black pastor who is, is found out after uh, the good Christians are taken away and snatched up. Uh, we find uh, this hypocritical black pastor who's left behind to head the what's called the tribulation force what's what what's what, what's bigger than that what's bigger than that is this is that uh, the, it, further the the uh, uh, Antichrist and his minions uh, put some sort of virus on Bibles for which the black pastor uh, uh, distributed and even killed more people so not only is this pastor a hypocrite and he was left behind secondly he was stupid enough to pass out Bibles that had a virus on them so now he's a mass murderer so and, and, and left behind the world at war let's talk about that DVD so you have a black president who was played by Louis Gossett Jr. right uh, this guy uh, is sitting in the White House admitting he betrayed the United States of America. So we got a black pastor who's a hypocrite, who's a mass murderer and stupid. Secondly, we got a black president who's betrayed America. Third, this guy, the president, uh, uh, the, the Secret Service agent that betrayed the president was what? Black. He shot the he shot the good, the, the good Secret Service agent in the back. Not only that, the black president tries to kill, uh, uh, the black president tries to shoot the Antichrist in this video and, and, and shoots right through him and he kills the, the black, the, the, the black uh, Secret Service agent betrayer. So the president betrayed the country, he's stupid. Uh, secondly, he shoots another black dude because he's too stupid to understand, even though he's been told that the Antichrist can't be killed. And after that, the black president commits suicide by calling a missile in on Antichrist, who he's too stupid to know can't be killed. I mean, this is where these people are at. And, and I'm not uh, here to, to preach uh, uh, race or anything like that, because, again, race has no place.